Cleanup continues tonight after an EF1 tornado ripped through Lawrence County. The National Weather Service says the twister had winds of up to 95 miles per hour. Authorities say the winds were so strong the damage could have been deadly. Peyton Furtado brings us the storm's devastating after effects. Thursday night, an EF1 tornado knocked walls down and Joanna like they were dominoes snapping up roofs like they're nothing. This tin roof here belonging to a car wash close by, snapping trees in its wake as it touched down in Joanna, South Carolina. But though the National Weather Service said winds could have reached up to 95 miles an hour, these buildings and trees were the only casualties. To have a, a EF1 tornado come through and, and no injuries, I think that we've been blessed in this county. This morning, Lawrence County Emergency Services and the National Weather Service surveying the damage, finding signs of a 100-yard wide EF1 tornado that they say touched down intermittently for five to 10 minutes. So we got towards Reno Road. Um, it actually seemed like the path had gotten a little wider and there were like numerous large trees either snapped or uprooted. Damaging businesses and homes. Lawrence County native Johnny Jack says his boats, golf cart and tractor lay under this rubble and enormous tree. I think I can pull both of the boats out, but the tractor's demolished, it's laying in, everything's laying down on, you know, the whole roof is fell in as you can see. But the wind was so loud, Jack said he never heard the tree fall, and all he saw were dark clouds rushing overhead. As soon as we heard the siren go off, you know, we knew it and uh, had alerts on our phones. So, yeah, of course, we started. We said a prayer, sure enough. And luckily, the Lord saved most of Joanne, I believe. <laughs> Lawrence County Emergency Management's Sheila Kirkland is thankful no one was hurt, but believes things could have been a lot worse for the community of just 1,500 people. If it would have come through a residence, then we'd be telling a different story. So it's get notified early, take cover early, and don't try to ride it out. In Lawrence County, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.